all right guys welcome to my channel kb memes one actually i normally make animation on my phone with the app flipperly but today i tried my skills on adobe animates uh, i think 2020 adobe animate cc yeah so flipper clip is one of the best free 2d animation app for everyone just that you have to pay for the premium version which costs about something dollars i don't really remember for now so for this video i decided to work on adobe anime to make today's animation let's begin now for the first scene i've already drawn some of the scenes and as time goes on we'll be making new drawings yeah for this first scene it's a closed window and the Rico guy will be throwing a stone to the window to call Rapunzel. Let's listen to the audio. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! <gasps> Rapunzel! Rapunzel! So from here, this is the window scene and I drew this line for the stone to follow through. Hit the window and then fall from there. Yeah, here comes the stone through to the window side. Then hit the window. Let me turn the onion skin on. So stone to the window, then force is the first thing. Let me make a sign showing the stone has a hit on the window. That's how 2D animation works, as we all know. So this is a sign to show the audience the stone actually hits the window. Now for the stone, all the way to the window, let me add more signs. Now let's play the whole video to check how it's going good or not good. So, uh, good, I think. I think it's good. This is where the stone comes down to fall. Uh, onion skin now I give some space here for the nursing some animation do not need space for nursing but some do so I apply this here for the nursing to follow up now this is the Rico guy a rough animation he got the stone right here he got the stone right here And this is an arc for the elbow. In most animation, we make arcs to get smooth and nice workflows. And another arc over here for the hand drawing, and probably this is for the stone. Yeah. Um, timeline. It comes to a squash and stretch. Another principle of animation is squash and stretch makes the animation looks real and fantastic yeah let me make a cut through over here to get more splash and stretch over here and the scene is already drawn so I don't need to redraw it, but rather cut through and make the squash and stretch or oh, squash stretch, like squash stretch. Yeah. So um, I think it's good for now. What do you think, guys? People will be asking, am I using a mouse for this animation? Uh, I'll be making a video of what I use for this animation. So if anyone is interested in it. As to how it works flows and you decide on your own this video is not sponsored by anyone so i can't be making advertisements now maybe later on yeah. so this is where he throws the stone 
and it follows through to hit the window and falls from the window to the floor i think we have a nice neat scene here so far let's take off all the unwanted stones from the scene that's what i'm doing right here I guess it's okay now. Let's play the whole video to see how it looks now. Rapunzel! 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 Uh, let's delete this stone right here. We assume it's uh, it has a speed on falling down, so. I think it shouldn't show here. Making some repositioning here, yeah. Now the next thing is the window again and Rapunzel, Rapunzel or Rapunzel opens it. Um, let me make a rooftop design here to show she's really upstairs and then I'll be making another window to do that again. It's a kind of star building and only my workflow will notify my viewers what building she's in. Let's get the story building done here. Now let's add another window here, down here. So let's copy this window. It should come down to upstairs window and downstairs window. Now she opens the window to check who is calling or who to you the stone, you know. This is the Riku guy from the bird eye view. We've got the worm eye view as well, but I decided to use the bird eye view to show she's in a story building. So the worm eye view and the bird eye view, this is the difference. Now let me draw the stones he threw down here since he has already let it go. It must show down here. It's two stones as well, positioning them well. Positioning them well and let's label it a stone stone I think yeah. Stone. Let me give him two extra stone on the left side, left hand side here. Yeah, I think that will be that will be good. <laughs> Let's get a new drawing. This is the Rico guy's head. So I'm trying to get the worm eye view from this side. Probably we first had the bed eye view, so this time around we are trying the worm eye view. Position it well, he looks up, so yeah, I think it's good. Now the body and the arms will come like his praising kind of god here. Yeah. And maybe the two stones are drawn in the past scene. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 
Now I go for the window scene from here and paste it on the where my view to make our work simple. We don't have time to be drawing everything, everything, everything like. So this is just a rough story board thing. So I just get a copy of this side or a copy from this side and then paste it right here. Then let's add up the unfilled drawing here. So I think I might need a door right here or maybe uh, the left hand side here. Mm, I think it's look good for now. Let me check out the timeline with the audio play so everything will match up perfectly. Alright guys, we'll make a part 2 which is a continuation of this video. Hope you enjoyed it and let me know how this video was helpful to you in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share to anyone you think might need to watch this video. Thank you. Wait for that.